In this video, I'm gonna walk you through all of the dose calc conversions that you will need to know to pass your dose calc exam in nursing school and the NCLEX and to get those questions right on your exams. So oftentimes what I see is that nursing schools will tell you that you need to pass the dose calc exam, right? But they won't explain it to you and tell you how, which is a huge problem, right? So what we're gonna do here in this video is I'm gonna walk you through the dose calc conversions, the must know conversions that you need to have memorized before you take your dose calc exam. They don't give these to you during the test. You have to know them ahead of time. So watch this video now, put it on repeat, and then make sure that you watch it again before you take your exam, just to make sure that you don't forget any of these conversions because they're so important. You have to know these for your exam to pass. I'm also going to do a fun quiz at the end. So I think that'll be super fun. So you can quiz yourself. So let's dive in. So let's go through these flashcards. So I am actually getting these flashcards straight out of our dose calc system. So if you're interested in snagging these, you can check out the link below. I will put that link down below for you to check that out. So let's go through these one gram equals how many milligrams? 1,000 milligrams, okay? So one gram equals 1,000 milligrams, all right? That's your first one. One milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. So one milligram equals 1,000 micrograms, okay? Five milliliters convert to teaspoons. So five milliliters is equal to one teaspoon. Five milliliters is equal to one teaspoon. Three teaspoons is equal to one tablespoon. So three teaspoons is equal to one tablespoon. Now 15 milliliters convert it to tablespoons. 15 milliliters in one tablespoon. So one tablespoon is equivalent to 15 milliliters. All right, so a tablespoon is 15 milliliters. Now one ounce convert to tablespoons. So one ounce in two tablespoons. There are two tablespoons in one ounce. All right, two tablespoons in one ounce. When I was in nursing school, I got this one a lot. <laughs> there were a lot of questions about that one. Now 30 milliliters in one ounce. There are 30 milliliters in one ounce. These are all really good to know even when you are in nursing school or if you're just cooking, right? So those are kind of kitchen measurements too. So 30 milliliters in one ounce. Now, this is a really interesting one. Um, this one you may or may not be tested on in your dose calc exam, but it's really good to know when you're in clinical practice, when you're actually on the floor. So one milliliter is the same as one cc. So one cc is the same thing as one milliliter. So don't get that confused, okay? One milliliter is the same as a cc. One cc, one milliliter, same thing. Now one liter, convert it to milliliters. How many milliliters in one liter? There are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So one liter is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. 1,000 milliliters is equivalent to one liter. Now eight ounces in one cup. There are eight ounces in one cup. Like I said, kitchen measurements, right? That's a good one to know. Let's do kilograms. How many pounds are in a kilogram? One kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. One kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So kilograms, two pounds. One kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. That was a tricky one. Uh, when I was in nursing school, that one was probably the hardest for me to remember. One kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Now, one kilogram is equal to how many grams? One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Okay, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Okay, now this one, you most, I would say most likely will be tested on in nursing school and that is grains. But you will hardly, like never, you will never see it. <laughs> Can I just put that out there? Like, you will probably never see this ever <laughs> on the floor at your clinical facility, like in real life. Like, it's something that you're gonna be tested on in nursing school and you need to know for the NCLEX, but 
I'm just gonna put it out there. You're probably never gonna see it in real life. And that is grains, okay? Grains, one grain is equal to 65 milligrams. I don't know why they do that on the discount exam because that's not really used, but you really need to know it, okay? One grain is equal to 65 milligrams. So remember that, okay? One grain, 65 milligrams. And I also wanna point out that if you see it on your dose exam, a grain is abbreviated as GR. So you might see it as grain, but you also might see it as GR. So one grain, 65 milligrams. Okay, we cool on all those. Now, I just thought it would be super fun if we can run through this and I will just quiz you. So I'm gonna say one of them and then you can think in your mind um, for how uh, the conversion should go, okay? So one gram is equal to how many milligrams? And I'll give you a couple seconds to think about it. So one gram is equivalent to how many milligrams? One gram is equivalent to 1,000 milligrams. Did you get it? Okay, let's do another one. One milligram is equal to how many micrograms? A milligram is equal to 1,000 micrograms, okay? One milligram is equal to 1,000 micrograms. I hope you got that one. I'm sure you did. Now, teaspoons, how many milliliters are in one teaspoon? In one teaspoon, how many milliliters are there? There are five milliliters in one teaspoon. Do you get it? One teaspoon, five milliliters, okay? Now here's another one. Okay, one tablespoon. How many teaspoons are there in one tablespoon? In one tablespoon, there are three teaspoons. Okay, in one tablespoon, there are three teaspoons. So three teaspoons in one tablespoon, okay? Now, tablespoons converted to milliliters. How many milliliters are in one tablespoon, okay? We just did the card, I think we did, or maybe it's coming up, on how many, oh yes, milliliters are in a teaspoon. So one teaspoon is equal to five milliliters. So if one teaspoon is five milliliters, and then there are three teaspoons in one tablespoon, then how many milliliters are in one tablespoon? Okay, one teaspoon is five milliliters. If there's three teaspoons in one tablespoon, then that means we take five times three and we get 15. 15 milliliters in one tablespoon. So that is a really good example, my friend, of other kind of backdoor ways that you can get to an answer if you don't know this one. If you don't know an answer, like a conversion factor like this, that's okay. Sometimes it's okay because you can get to it a different way. Does that make sense? So if you don't know how many milliliters are in a tablespoon, but you know how many, you know that there's five milliliters in one teaspoon and you know that there's three teaspoons in one tablespoon, then you can get to this answer. So sometimes there are other ways of going about it. So that's really important to note. So one tablespoon is 15 milliliters. So good job. Now, one ounce, how many milliliters are in one ounce? Let's think on it. There are 30 milliliters in one ounce. So 30 milliliters in one ounce, okay? Now, how many tablespoons are in one ounce? There are two tablespoons, two tablespoons in one ounce ounce, okay? So kind of the same thing. One ounce is equal to 30 milliliters. Well, if we know that a tablespoon is equal to 15 milliliters, like we just learned, then we know that there are two tablespoons in one ounce. Kind of cool, right? Multiple ways of figuring things out. Now, do you remember this one? How many cc's is one milliliter? One. Okay, remember that one. This one's kind of interesting. It's just one to one, one cc in one milliliter. That's it. That one's pretty straightforward. Okay, how many milliliters are in one liter? How many milliliters in one 
liter. There are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Okay, 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Now cups, convert cups to ounces. How many ounces are in a cup? There are eight ounces in one cup. So one cup is equal to eight ounces, All right? One cup is equal to eight ounces. Now, here's a tricky one, kilograms. <laughs> How many pounds are in one kilogram? Do you remember? Like I said, this was the trickier one for me in nursing school. This was a hard one for me to remember. I don't know why, but maybe it's difficult for you too. One kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. Okay, one kilogram, one kilogram, 2.2 pounds. Okay, one kilogram, 2.2 pounds. All right, now, one kilogram is how many grams? You have a kilogram, how many grams is that? You remember? One kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams. Okay, one kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams. Okay, a kilogram, a thousand. One kilogram, a thousand grams. Okay, here's one of the trickier ones, <laughs> like I said, this probably will show up on your dose calc exam, so let's make sure you know it, my friend. One grain. How many milligrams is a grain? One grain is how many milligrams? Do you remember? One grain is ba -ba -ba -ba, 65 milligrams. Can you remember that one? Keep that one in your brain. <laughs> along with the kilograms to pounds, okay? Because this is definitely gonna show up in your exam. One grain, 65 milligrams. I have no idea why they test you on this, but like I said, you're never gonna see it in real life, but you gotta know it for your exam. One grain is 65 milligrams. So how did you do on our little mini test? I hope you did well. That was super fun. Let me know in the comments below if this was helpful for you. Now, if you want my full step-by-step -step guide for passing the DoseCalc exam, click on this video here and I will walk you through how to get every single DoseCalc question right on your exams. And if this video was helpful for you, I would love it if you could leave a comment below to let me know. And as always, my friend, go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I will see you over there in that next video.